we find that the rate of contraction and the ability to generate force at the end ranges of motion when the muscle is at its shortest length has a greater ability to generate force than we do with traditional weights. And we did these studies with force plates on both machines, the isokinetic technology machine and traditional trap bar deadlifting machine. And by the way, this is what makes band training so um, uh, useful uh, because you're getting uh, the, the ability, you're generating, you have the ability to generate greater force at the uh, uh, end range of motion, if you will, or I should say when the muscle's at its shortest rate, because that's when we need optimal stiffness. When you're sprinting and you're firing your glutes, you know, you wanna make sure you're strong uh, at all ranges of motion, the end range, the shortest range, and when the muscle is lengthened. You gotta have strength throughout all ranges of motion. When we use traditional weights, mechanical advantage of the weight, momentum of the weight. So when you do a trap bar deadlift, what happens is we noticed on force plate studies, when you're lifting that trap bar, initially when you get it going, we're measuring you know, uh, a good amount of force on the trap bar, as you can see on the screen. But as you come up, the force lessens because you got momentum. It's like riding on an elevator. When you're riding on an elevator and you're about to stop at the top, you become de-weighted or de-loaded, if you will, because momentum continues to carry the weight. The same thing happens on the trap bar. So you're not getting nearly as the amount of forced production in your glutes and hamstrings and low back as you're more than halfway through the lift as you are on an isokinetic machine. And again, that's why bands play such a big role. So anyway, not to go too deep, the technology is real and probably the biggest game-changing technology in the marketplace. And this machine that now Perform Better has called the Ohm, it's an isokinetic machine that you can do multiple movements on that is absolutely incredible. That really, you know, really is, is I would say, uh, uh, a key element to addressing fascia training, addressing co-contraction, 